Hello, I'm Priscilla Archangel, and my leadership lesson for you today is creative self-confidence. I first want to tell you a brief story about David Kelly. David Kelly founded a design firm on the West Coast, and the name is IDEO, I-D-E-O. He's also the founder of the Stanford University D School. Again, D is for design. And David Kelly's mission and purpose is really to create impact through design. Now, one of the famous products that David Kelly has designed along with his firm is the computer mouse that he designed for Apple, for Steve Jobs, his good friend at Apple. And think of the computer mouse as an instrument that never before existed in that way, yet billions of people around the earth right now use computer mouses. David Kelly gets his design inspiration by watching people, watching how people interact with their environment, by interviewing people, and he also brings together disparate groups of people from very different backgrounds to solve a design challenge, and he helps people develop their own creative self-confidence in design. Well, all of us don't have a David Kelly around to help us with our own creative self-confidence. So here's just a few tips for you to think about as you're working with your team and with your organization for building creative self-confidence. The first tip is have a thinking environment. Now most of us are used to just a doing environment. We have routines, we have norms, we have plans. When something happens, we just know what to do. We know how to react to it. But what if we stopped and didn't rush to do something, but we stopped first and thought about what's really the best solution to this problem? A thinking environment. Another tip for you is emphasizing quality over quantity. Many of us today really sacrifice quality for quantity because we want to do more, faster, better. But instead, think about the quality of what you're doing and what impact that will have on your end result. Another environment that you want is a spirit of curiosity. Think about how the Wright brothers would have fared if they didn't have a healthy spirit of curiosity in terms of inventing a flying machine. Now they, weren't the, weren't, they were not the first ones who tried and they were not the best funded ones who tried. They were just the ones who succeeded because they pressed forward with a spirit of curiosity to find out and figure out what would work. Another tip for you is to nurture new ideas. Some companies, some organizations, some teams talk about new ideas and they say they want new ideas, but they really don't reward it, they really don't embrace it, they really don't investigate it and take those new ideas and find out which ones are really going to work. Even if just a small percentage of them are workable, what you do by eliciting more new and creative ideas is you get people's creative juices flowing and that you get people to thinking about new and different ways to do things. So nurture new ideas. And my last tip for you in terms of building your creative self-confidence is to surround yourself with different people. Now I think we've heard that the definition of, ins definition of insanity from Einstein is doing the same thing and expecting different results. So when I hang around just the same people and I expect different results, that's really probably not going to happen. So why don't I immerse myself in people from different backgrounds, different thought patterns, and different processes to help me and to help all of us come together and think more creatively, think more differently about the problems that face us. So I hope these tips are helpful for you. Go ahead, build your own creative self-confidence and build that in your team as well. Thank you for listening.